Hello friend, I'm here in Ozark and I uh, slept in today. I went up to Springfield to help out a friend of mine. I don't want to get into too many details on that, but it feels good to be able to help someone out, you know. Really makes me feel good, but seeing as I went all the way up to Springfield, I wanted to have fun. So I went to the Vietnamese restaurant and had a dish. I forget what it was called, but it was like egg noodles something. I wasn't in the mood for pho, so I had a different noodle dish of like egg noodles and um, vegetables and beef and everything. And now I'm at the fancy theater in Ozark. I'm going to go see the new Tupac movie, All Eyes on Me. I don't know anything about it. Haven't seen any previews. And, um, I'm not sure if I know any of Tupac's music or anything. Not really a fan, just never, not really aware of his career or music. I don't know that I've ever heard any of it, to be honest. But I like artist biopics. So I'm pretty stoked to go see it. It's rated R. I'm hoping there's some nudity. I'm sure there'll be drug use. But uh, anyway, stick around and I'll let you know what I thought. Hello, I just got, well, I didn't just get out of the movies. I got out of the movies, got some takeout from Burger King and drove home. I'm at home now, it was too dark to film in the car and I didn't want to film in Burger King and um but the all eyes on me the Tupac movie was fucking awesome dude I was just like blown away by how good it was um like at about the hour and a half moment I was like this is the must see movie of this year so fucking good and then Tupac settled down and I was like, okay, this movie's getting pretty fucking long now. The third act is not, kind of falls apart a little bit, but the first, the first like hour and a half of the movie is fucking awesome. I loved it. It's a great story about a guy who's like kind of born to lead and uh, born for greatness. He... His father is in the Black Panthers and uh, is like a, like a revolutionary or his stepfather rather. And then, uh, and it shows him moving around as a kid and uh, taking up acting and, and, uh, and learning his chops and getting a, uh, notebook for Christmas and his mom says this will get you farther than a basketball will I thought that was so awesome uh and great music like I I know in the first part of this video I said I didn't know Tupac's music that well but I actually was a fan of Digital Underground back in the day and uh, a couple of his songs I recognize like California knows how to party <laughs> yeah i know that one pretty well and i'm a big fan of that one and um but it was just amazing man i love it and gangster rap is not that different i hear my cats climbing up on the bed but uh gangster rap is not that different from punk rock i think they have a lot in common and i didn't grow up listening to gangster rap i don't know a lot about it but i know when I hear it, I, I'm really into it and really enjoy it. And uh, I really enjoyed the um, NWA movie a couple of years ago. This one was really great. I love the stories. Like I say, you know, uh, in the third act, I'm kind of like, well, what's going on with the whole East Coast, West Coast thing? And, but that's all right. Um, and then I did... And then this movie had a tough, uh, a tough time, I think, because you got a rabid fan base. I mean, Tupac was insanely popular. 
You got people who love Tupac and know his whole life story. And then you got people like me who aren't real familiar with them, don't know much of the facts. So, like, they, the filmmakers had to please both people, I think. And one thing that felt glossed over to me was the feud between Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. Um, the, it's, it seemed like they had a beef and maybe... And, and maybe uh, Like, uh, Tupac got shot and robbed, and uh, he got framed, it looked like. And uh, and then it seemed like maybe Notorious B.I.G. and this other dude had something to do with it. But I wasn't exactly sure. And there, like, uh, there was a scene where I think the, the lyrics were supposed to tell you... Uh, information about the B, the the big tupac feud but i just had a schizo moment and like couldn't fucking concentrate and and uh pick apart the lyrics and understand what was going on so i mean i learned a lot and uh about gangster rap and i i, I love that story and all the history and everything but at the same time there was a few things i was uh confused about uh, i'm sure i'm sure my friend andy simpson can fill me in if i go talk to him and then i actually met this really nice dude and his girlfriend at the movies and we were talking about the movie a little bit and uh i should have asked them because they seem to know more than i did but so i was a little bit confused at one, only one point in the movie but I, I highly recommend you go see this movie. It was so good. Um, that whole story is just so fascinating. Death Row Records and all of the gangster rappers. I'm just so into it and uh, find it fascinating. Really well-made movie. Um, great acting. Uh, it looked really good. It did have nudity, which I was happy about. And uh, just totally awesome. So I strongly, strongly recommend you go see this movie. It was really, really good. And thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. And that's all. Bye.